Hello everyone and welcome to the Atlas International Intranet Training um, Setup. I hope this is useful for you. Um, I won't go on too long, this is probably going to be about six minutes worth of, uh, of tutorial, but I hope this is worthwhile for you. Okay, firstly, um, if you've never done this before, you just have to go into the registration uh, section here and um, fill in most of your details which come up in here. Once you've registered, you will actually receive um, an email saying it's being um, it's been noted, thank you, and then later on an email that states you've now got access to the system. Usually that takes between one and two hours. But once you've done that, all you'll then need to do is just enter in your relevant details. And obviously what you'll always need is that is the usual address which I'm highlighting up here at the top of your screens now. Um, but I've also sent that to you on an email. So enter in your username and password. And I'm going to show you two or three main screens, which are the ones that we use more often. Um, this is the home page. Now, on the left-hand side here, we've got the automatic news feed, which basically gives you um, if there's been a brand new property or a price has been reduced. Um, so you've got here, just launched a property in the Greek islands, um, or we've got price reduction here, the Vista as well, which is a really good price drop, by the way. Um, these are all down here, which if you are a country manager, they will appear on your home page um, in your local language. So this will be in Iranian or Swedish, for example. On this side here, we've got the uh, little bit more expanded news, which will help you um, with a little bit more detail, for example, finding information on the names of the properties um, which have been released, the prices, locations, etc. Plus any you know news about particularly good sales we've just made, for example. This is where we will just tell you everything. So that's the main screen, the screen that you will see every time that you come in. Um, this is the main function that you'll be using more than any other on here, which is the property search uh, element, which allows you to search via any currency that you want. Um, if you come from a country which uh, needs a different currency, let us know and we will put this on for you. But uh, invariably, obviously, we'll search for pounds if they're in the UK. Prices from, you can put in anything in here, prices to, anything in here. You can then search, obviously, via country, um, and you can do by property type if you want to, distances to areas, um, distances to golf courses. But personally, I would recommend keeping it simply down to price, because at the end of the day, that's what clients are looking for, is price orientated. Um, you can also search via towns in here, by the way. So once you've done that, you'll obviously then get all the properties in that region. And uh, for example, here I found 99 properties between, I think it was um, 100 and 120,000 or 80 and 122,000, something like that. You can then search if you want to on whether they're new or resale, which locations they're in, countries or price. So for example, if you just click on price, it will then sort it in order of price, cheapest to the most expensive. Um, and uh, obviously a little bit more inf information here is availability and number of bedrooms it's got. But then once you've done that, you can then, if you want to, go into more details. Um, and uh, it'll show you all, obviously, property pictures. So you've got all lots of more property pictures in here. It will also show you some very basic information here. Detailed information about its location, so how far it is away from particular things that people often ask about. A small description, which will be in English for the moment, um, and then a map. So if you need any help, you know, you've got an idea of, of roughly where this property is in relation to, say, Tarieka, for example, here. So this one's inland. So you've got a lot of information on this screen here. And then if you want to down here, you can generate some PDFs if you want to. Um, but what a lot of people tend to do is they tend to be talking to clients on the phone and they'll say, right, fantastic, Mirador, I want to send the, um, let's go here, a bit more information, the Olivia and the Princess Elisa. You want to send this via email to a client. So you'd add it to the shopping cart by clicking on there. And let's say you want to add the Princess Elisa as well, you add that as well. Now what happens, you'll see in the right-hand side of your screen, this is opened up. Now basically this is a shopping cart. So it allows you to enter in your own details, your email address, your telephone numbers. If you want to send any message, you can write it in here pretty easily. Um, your client's name, client's email address, and ultimately, which language you want to send it to them in. Which means that the text is in that language and also the, um, uh, the PDFs that you've generated will be in that. So that gives you an, uh, the option to send the cart by email, which is here, or if you want to, if you want to print these out 
and send them to a client you just generate the PDF button here and that will then generate a PDF function as you can see here which will open up on your screen and then you can directly print this on your own printer but this is quite useful because it also gives you an idea of what um, this will produce so this is a standard PDF that will be emailed to a client so main picture small pictures a basic map price down here in your own currency um, obviously nearest beach golf course and airport and some property features now this will all be in your own language so um, you don't have to worry about that so that's the main function on the property search which is an inc incredibly good tool to use. Um, you can also if you want to download price lists as well which will be coming up soon um, if you've got exhibitions you can upload it but it's not really used very much if you've got uh, questions you can ask the forum but it's not used particularly um, but also you've got the tools function here so on the tools function you've got a documents library which allows you there's so much information in here so much in terms of um, uh, extra information for example um, about working in Greece or you've got quick reference cards here where you just have to click on here to download um, and all of these uh, are really useful tools so have a look you know print them out this is a quick reference guide for you to print out for example about Turkey um, which you may find of use in uh, in exhibitions so that's all on there for you you've also got things here for example like a map tool which allows you to search in a particular country if you don't know anything about say I don't know let's say Italy and you want to know a little bit about um, where the beach this particular client is talking about you do that Italy beach and what it will do is it will actually sort it into the beaches so beach of Amantea for example and then what it will allow you to do is then search for the actual um, beach in Amantea which I believe is here so what will and then you can obviously convert that into a map as well so it then allows you to see Amante okay where is that in relation to other things and you can move that all around so all in all a very useful tool certainly one which is uh, head and shoulders above um, any of the competition um, because ultimately it allows you to search all of our properties in our range it tells you all the latest special offers on this home page for example um, and it's instant it's immediate if we've got a property which we bring on bring on yesterday it'll be live with you today in your own language so a fantastic system and I hope it's a benefit for you all right all the best if you've got any questions the best email to uh, what you need to do is email webmaster at atlasinternational.com. That's webmaster at atlasinternational.com. But otherwise, best of luck.